One chef objective to stay safe and prevent the risk and hazard in the kitchen. Calling for Maria Christina Andaya and Jemalin Suyat, the floor is yours. It is possible to work in the kitchen without ever getting injured. Considering the surroundings and the place in the kitchen to be aware in hazard to implement safety measure, it not necessarily make you slower. Might be allowed you to optimize your time by making your time easier. Sleep and fall. It is only excellent to think about hazard and it be cautious and prevent when we spill and drop something. Make sure to clean it or pick up right after spills of water, spills of soap, drop of ice cubes, oil or any kind of grease because it is extremely dangerous. Clean after is a great way to avoid and to be trained aware to the hazard. How to effectively clean spills? If water or ice, clean with a mop until it's dry enough, it's necessary dry it better with paper or towel. If soap or any kind of grease, clean it first with a paper. Afterwards, use a type of powder or flour to absorb the grease. Clean with a broom and mop. Thank you for that information, Ms. Nesmin. Now, may I call our second chef to talk about the cuts and scrapes. Let's talk about cuts and scrapes. May I call on Mr. Austin for the information of him. Cuts and scrapes. The knife using job is an obvious hazard. When handling knife to cut food to store them, to sharpen or even to clean them. Do you think about safety? When you pick up a knife, use your good sense to utilize it. When you're not thinking about it, you cut yourself. What to do to prevent cuts and scrapes? Be always attentive about where is the knives. Don't play around sharp objects. Always use safe hand position when using knife. Be careful when cleaning a knife, make sure to that the blade point in away from you. Burn! It's really easy to burn the kitchen. There are lots of hazards that can cause severe burn such as hot stove, grill, and coffee, or tea, pots, etc. Water and grease don't mix. Don't ever try to put fire that involve water and grease. Use water extinguisher or towel to load the fire. Handling, carrying, and lifting, it is critical to know how to pick up heavy objects. Thank you for that information, Ms. Vivian and Ms. Kelly. General safety tips. Know where the fire extinguishers are located. Maintain your workplace clean and organize your flammable and compatible material lab safety cabinet. Know where the exit and make sure it's not locked. Safety awareness is really the key to safety and to report impossible hazards and making something to correct. I am Jamalin Suyat and I'm Maria Christina Andai. That's all the information about the risk and hazard in the kitchen. Thank you!